Welcome to Bus Driver Life. My name is Kiwan. Been a bus driver for a long time. I used to drive school buses. Now I currently drive transit buses. This is my bus. So it's a Friday. I am just doing my normal run that I do on Fridays. I start at 2.08 in the afternoon. And I'm gonna be at work until about 9.35 tonight. It's a very easy day though. I do two commuter routes. What's a commuter route? Well, I'm glad that you asked. It's basically a route that only operates during peak hours or rush hour, whatever you want to call it. Typically in the morning, it will operate from a particular area into the downtown area of a major city to take people to their corporate government jobs and stuff like that. And then in the afternoon, it will do a return service from the downtown area back into whatever area it served that morning, typically like a suburban area or someplace that's outside of the city. And you know, these are people that have the nice high paying six figure jobs and they have nice cars at home, some of them, but it's cheaper to use public transportation to get to and from work. And you don't have to deal with all the traffic and all of that good stuff. So I think it's a good idea. Some of them will even like drive their cars to a park and ride lot where a bus serves the park and ride lot and it's like, not far from their house and they just drive a few miles there and they take the bus all the way into downtown section of the city or into the city or whatever and then they're at their jobs however since we're in the pandemic uh there really has not been a lot of commuters typically the commuter routes are packed but as of late they have not been packed like the past year but people are starting to return back to work but still not a whole lot of people as a matter of fact the commuter route that i just did i had zero people the whole time so i was just driving myself around you ain't lying now, after I get off of this break, I have to do another commuter route. It's a different route. And I will have people on that route. I typically get about four or five people on that route. It would normally get way more than that, but you know, pandemic. So ridership has been lower. People are still riding the bus, but it's not the levels that it was pre pandemic. And I'm just like, hey, if nobody's gonna be riding a commuter route, then y'all can just let me go home and take a nap or something. And <laughs> you know, still pay me. Cause nobody's riding anyway, right? <laughs> Yeah, I would totally lose my job doing that. I would never do that, by the way. It was just a joke. Oh, another thing, this hat, this is not the hat that I wear while I'm driving the bus, but I just threw this hat on while I'm filming the video, just so you know. And it says, Bus Driver Life. These hats will be available pretty soon, and I do have some merch items available. If you click the Teespring link in the description, you'll see some cool Bus Driver Life merch. So it's a nice day today. I think it's about 80 degrees. Today, at the time of me filming this video, it's April the 2nd, Friday, April the 2nd. Of course, this is not gonna be edited and uploaded today because I don't get off work till late. And after I get off work, I'm going to the gym because, you know, I'm trying to take my health, well, I'm not trying. I am taking my health more seriously and I am looking to lose a little bit of weight, a lot of bit of weight, and just get healthier. Funny I should say that I'm trying to get healthier though because I am, there's a sub place over here called Firehouse Subs and I'm gonna go over there and get a sub, but I'm gonna get the smaller sub and I'm not gonna get chips or anything, just a sub and I'm gonna have some water because I'm a little bit hungry. Even though a sub is not the most healthiest food choice, I have uh, drastically cut my, what am I trying to say? my calories and stuff. I've drastically cut that down. So I eat a lot less now, smaller portions, all that good stuff. So I'm making progress and I've been going to the gym and I'll be going tonight after work. It's rough going after work, but it's like really the only time I can do it most of the time. Also, I can probably not get the sandwich, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna get the sandwich, but at least I'm not gonna get chips and a cookie and a soda, right? So that does make it better. But my route so far, it's it's going pretty good. It's, um yeah, I've had zero passengers. <laughs> zero passengers so far it's hilarious but uh it's gonna pick up because after i do these commuter routes i do a regular route for the rest of the night and i typically get you know the standard amount of people it's like a regular route so i get people i will have passengers on board my bus today for sure so um that's it for this uh portion of the video what i'm gonna do is i have to drive the bus so i will see you all on my next break and my next break i come right back here and i might i might go to firehouse subs to get a small sub sandwich okay so here it is people firehouse subs Found it by firemen. Let's see what we got. All right, there she goes. It's a turkey and cheese and bacon. Got a pickle spear right here. Good old pickle, wait, can you see it? Okay, there we go, pickle spear right here. 
and um, yeah that's what we're working with here so I'm gonna eat that uh, <laughs> yeah definitely not a healthy choice I said I was gonna get the smaller one but my stomach was like hey get the large or the regular size but I don't know I'm gonna eat this and then I have to drive again and I'll talk to you a little bit later so yeah so I'm gonna be honest with you the sandwich that I had from Firehouse Subs was fire. So upon driving my bus today, I had a guy walk out into the middle of the street. This is the guy walking. And he didn't do it like that. But he walked down to the middle of the street and stood in front of, well, okay. He walked down to the middle of the street and just stopped. And I'm coming down the street and I had to come to a complete stop. I stopped like way away from him though. But I'm just like, what's going on? And he just stood there and looked. And there was other traffic going by. And see, that's really dangerous because vehicles behind me, they can't see around me. So what I've seen so many times is that, well, it just kind of naturally happens. Like a car behind you, they're gonna go around you and like cut right in front of you. That guy could have got hit by somebody. Fortunately, it didn't happen, but still, it's just a lot going on, a lot of homeless people. The Sacramento region has a really big homeless situation. There are so many homeless people, so many homeless encampments popping up everywhere. Like you'll be driving down the street, you look off to the side in like a field or something, and you just see a ton of tents and boxes and, you know, know it's a big issue let me know in the comments whatever area you're in what is the homeless situation where you're at but yeah I totally devoured that sandwich it was good though it was delicious okay I don't feel guilty because it was tasty turkey bacon cheese and ranch but I'm going to the gym you don't believe me do you you don't think I'm gonna go to the gym you think I'm just saying it listen I'm going to the gym matter of fact I'm gonna prove it right now I got the Planet Fitness Black card. $20 a month, or I think it's more than that now, like $22 or $25, something like that. You can go to any Planet, 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 Planet. You can go to any Planet Fitness, and you can bring a guest, so it's a pretty good deal. So as far as the rest of my shift today, I have three trips left on one particular route that operates all the way to a shopping center. It takes about an hour each direction. So I have three trips and I actually like trips that are long because it makes the time go by quicker. You finish, you get to the end of the light, end of the light. You get to the end of the line and it's already been an hour. You go back the other way and you know, it goes by quicker. Cause when you do the short trips, like routes that are really short, like each direction is like 20 minutes. It just feels like it makes the day go longer, even though technically it's the same amount of time. Let's just say an eight hour shift. Doesn't matter if you're doing a long route or a short route, it's still eight hours, but the longer routes just go by quicker. So it is what it is. Oh yeah, another thing, the restrictions, quarantine, restriction, lockdown have eased up quite a bit out here. So you can actually go to a movie theater. They can only have a small amount of people in each theater, but I went to see a movie and the movie I went to see was called Nobody. And let me tell you, that movie was really good. It's a solid action movie. Uh, had some uh, appearances from RZA from Wu-Tang. He got a pretty cool action scene. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, that's the dude from Back to the Future. He got some cool action scenes. And then of course, uh, Odin Kirk, he's the main character. And of course, he had tons of cool action scenes and fight scenes and stuff and he did a lot of his stunts himself he really trained hard for the role so that movie was good it's nothing that you haven't seen before it's nothing fresh and new necessarily it's actually very similar to like a john wick type of movie as a matter of fact some of the people that worked on john wick also worked on the movie nobody but it's a fun action movie and um I recommend it to anyone. That's a bus driver recommendation. See, bus drivers do other things outside of just driving bus. We enjoy stuff, you know, movies and music and whatnot, you know. We're human beings as well. Yeah, thank you for listening to me ramble and just talk about random stuff, random bus driver thoughts, I guess. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and hopefully I've earned your subscription and thank you for watching Bus Driver Life.